Hey hey, so this is another personal video and I just want to share some thoughts. I want to share some thoughts about my work, like what I'm working on these days in that carpentry. Then I also want to talk about Davos, like how it is here in Davos in Switzerland and how fucked up things really are here. And then I also want to talk about what we were working on these days at Trom because there's a lot going on. So the first thing, work. Like, you know, I'm working like crazy in this carpentry. Like we were working from morning till evening. We come back at seven or eight. So it's pretty tough, pretty tiring. And on Thursday, we were removing a floor, an old wooden floor. And that was pretty tough because like, I can show it to you in the video. It's physical work and it's not that easy. We had to cut the floor and then remove the nails from the floor. I also stood in the nail, <laughs> like that was, that was a bit fucked up, you know, I was, um, yeah, just like walking around and then the nail was like this and like I was standing on it, so it was pretty fucked up, but luckily it was not that deep, so it was bleeding a little bit, but then I, yeah, I didn't got hurt that bad, so you know, I can walk properly and everything is fine again. And then the next day was also pretty tough because we were removing snow from the top of the building and it was like one meter high or one meter thick. So, and the problem was that, you know, because it's so warm these days, the snow is melting during the day and then it like the water is dripping down and then it's freezing during the night. So the snow is more like ice, like, you know, you have those ice layers basically and that's pretty tough and pretty heavy and we had to like shovel it down from the roof to the next river that's next to the building basically and that was also tough and tiring so yeah luckily i had two days off the last two days and i was really like chilling and relaxing and taking it easy sleeping long and everything so that was super great and then I'm also working on uh, like laying chair, basically, it's, <laughs> it's a super old one. It's like 120 years old and um, yeah, I'm basically fixing it because some things are broken. And then I'm also sand grinding it to make it look as if it is new or like to make it, yeah, you know what I mean. And that's a pretty cool thing that I really like doing. Hey, so I just want to show you that I'm right now sand grinding a chair that you can lay on. And as you can see, it's a pretty old one. It's like 120 years old or something. And I'm just like sand grinding the whole chair. Um, takes a lot of energy and time and effort. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm learning so many things and it's kind of cool yeah i will do everything i mean yesterday we also polished the car so i was doing some car maintenance work and i'm doing different things and it's kind of cool so i'm not like a robot working in a factory who does the same things all over again but different things and um yeah so just i wanted to let you know that <laughs> But I'm also thinking there are so many people struggling to survive and I'm like, <laughs> I'm just sandpaping this chair. It's like, it's a bit weird, but um, yeah, what you gonna do? I mean... And then we will also build a kitchen, maybe next week or in two weeks. So that's the next big project that we are working on. And that's gonna be super exciting because I've never built a kitchen so I'm sure I will learn a ton and yeah that's going to be super cool and I look forward to it. And then I can talk a little bit about Davos you know I was going for a walk today and <laughs> the weather was phenomenal like the sun was shining sky was blue and it was super warm. Also from what I've heard it's a little bit unusual 
warm like usually it's colder in february but maybe that's also because of climate change i don't know but that's another discussion but um, the point i want to make is that if you're a tourist and you come to davos for like a weekend for two or three days and you go skiing and then you stay in a hotel or in a ski resort and then you might be inclined to think like everything is so nice here and like people are friendly and like it's so wealthy people have fancy cars like a maserati a bugatti or an audi or porsche and so on and you see all those fancy buildings and you have this big ski area and like kids are playing and skiing and everything but when you stay a little bit longer and you really look underneath the surface basically you will realize that it's pretty much fucked up you know i can tell you for example that people take drugs here like <laughs> but that's not a new thing like usually in hospitality from what i've learned and from my experiences is that it's really crazy like the working hours are super tough and everything has to be perfect and as good as possible and you are stressed all the time like if you like if there's a dinner and then people come and want it to be served you have to get to them you have to ask what they want to drink and then you have to ask the food that they want and then you have not only one table but like 10 or 15 or 20 or even more tables so there are constantly things on your to-do list in your mental to-do list in your mind and you're so stressed and that you really like it's so exhausting and so tiring because yeah i was walking here last year in a hotel in a restaurant and i just yeah realized and like learned that so many people deal with that stress by taking drugs by taking cocaine or weed or alcohol or speed or all these kinds of things and yeah as a hotel guest you don't know that you just think like oh the waiter is coming he's so friendly he's so nice but you don't see all the stress behind this person and then i can also tell you nothing new that like if people are super rich and like millionaires they are probably and very likely also greedy for example there's the richest guy here in davos and he owns a lot of properties and a lot of buildings and what he is doing is he is not donating it to charities of course i don't know the guy so i can tell so i cannot tell exactly what he is doing and like if he is donating a lot of that money but he is basically earning more money by <laughs> like driving a horse drawn coach i can show it in the picture to make more money to make extra money like another 120 swiss francs per drive i think and yeah maybe he's, he also likes to do it but like if you have millions of euros then like come on you are mentally ill because like if so many people are struggling to survive and don't have any food to survive then it's just wrong that you have millions on your bank account and i can tell you this value distortion is very present here like people care about their own properties they are fancy buildings they are fancy cars how they look like the food that they eat that has to be very fancy as well and it's super interesting to like be here and like get a feeling of that um yeah value distortion of the people that are here of course not all people are like this here and there are many nice people and many friendly people but you know there's business going on like and you really can feel it and you know it and it's also like a kill or die game basically and yeah it's pretty interesting to experience that and maybe i can also share some more stories about davos and the longer i will be here the more i can tell and uh, yeah maybe i can also take you on a tour and like show you some like, crazy villas and houses that people live in and it's so fucked up like if you think about this trade-based society makes people become greedy become egoistic and only care about themselves their own family or their own children and so on but not about the world what about like those children in Pakistan who have to work and make clothes for example or in Bangladesh what about those children working in mines in copper mines for example and they are slaving away day by day 
So if you really look closer and underneath the surface of this wall basically, you will realize that it's so fucked up. Like if I just think about the clothes that I'm wearing, they are probably made by slaves. The food that I'm eating is probably made by slaves. The cars that people are driving are completely distorted because like it's so inefficient to have a super heavy car driving around one or two people like we can make it so much more efficient but it's this trade based structure that perpetuates these patterns and these behaviors and these values so um, yeah it's so tricky to kind of change that but as we say from the Tron project, education is key, education is the most important, and then also infrastructure. And this is something we are working on right now. I can tell you that basically we want to offer some trade-free goods and services, some trade-free online services basically, because that's the easiest. We don't have a lot of power, we don't have a lot of yeah resources to offer for example trade free food or trade free transportation and so on this takes more than a bunch of people but we do what we can and we have this project called tromland.org where we offer for example a trade free search engine a trade free file sharing service and so many more services and we are working on um, having our own Friendica node and Friendica is a trade free social network. I also made a video about Friendica and you can also check it out on my videos. So um, yeah, it's just so great because it's decentralized. You can also host your own instance for example. And what we are doing is we are offering trade free access to it. So if you want to leave Facebook for example, you can join Friendica on our node and you don't have to trade your data or money or attention we don't put any ads and so on so this is a really cool thing and then you know youtube maybe you're watching this video on youtube there's also this alternative called peertube and peertube is also a decentralized video sharing platform and we are also hosting our own instance so basically the link will be videos.trom.tf and Keep in mind that .tf means trade free basically, I think it's a super cool like um, end of a domain to have a tf because that's then you know basically this service is trade free. So what I will work on tonight is hopefully to move all my videos from another Peertube instance to our own Peertube instance so that you can watch my videos as trade free. You know, there are no ads, no trackers and no other trades involved on Peertube. So that's a super cool thing. And then we also offer a lot of other services and you can check them out on tromland.org. But I was also thinking to make a detailed video about those services so that we can learn more about those. And basically um, I was also adding more goods and services to the trade free directory. So I just try to do as much as I can and it's not that easy because I'm working that much. Also tomorrow I have to work again but it's also fun so I like doing it and let's see how it goes, how it continues. And also of course Theo, Alexio, Sasha, they are working really hard and it was a lot of work to move all of our websites from our hosted server to our own server and yeah they have done great work with that. So yeah, that was it from here. You know, I'm also enjoying this amazing nature and landscape here. Like I was snowboarding the past two Sundays and there was a lot of fun. And yesterday I had fondue. That was also <laughs> pretty tasty. Like, you know, a traditional Swiss fondue. Um, cheese fondue is really, really tasty. And yeah, I can also recommend you to check out Peter Joseph's work. Like he is making a almost weekly podcast called revolution now and um, he's also talking about the value distortion of people perpetuated by our trade-based society and um, yeah it's really worth to check out and he's also saying that usually like if you see people driving around in a maserati or ferrari or bugatti and so on you should think that shame on them they are putting structural violence against people and of course, they are pushed by our trade-based society. They are also victims of our trade-based society. 
but we should not be like wow he's so successful he's so great he made something out of his life we should be like look at this poor guy who has to prove his self wealth basically by having a fancy car this is super fucked up and he's just a victim of our tray based society of our fucked up culture and um, yeah we should not celebrate that we should be like shame on him and on basically everybody who has like a million or so on his or her bank account this is completely distorted if you consider all the poverty all the misery on this planet you should not have that much money anyways so that was it from here see you in the next video take care and much love